Hi, this is OG Star Wars Alora Baga. I am a Legends girl trying to make it in this discounted world. And today our topic is going to be Darth Plagueis novel. And Darth Plagueis novel has three, three parts to it. And so the basic timeline is from 67 BBY and it goes all the way up to 32 BBY. And Darth Plagueis is a Mun. And what's so interesting about his species are how he came to be was that's who George George had a big say that's who George wanted Darth Plagueis to be so this idea of the Mun species comes directly from George so basically George did have a lot of say in the EU and helped crafted it in a many many ways um, on top of not only approving the storylines but also having a say on how things are gonna take place, when are they gonna take place, and what's gonna to happen to with major characters. So Darth, Darth Plagueis, he was the apprentice to Darth um, Tenebron. And I don't know if I said that right, I'm sorry. And um, how he becomes the Sith Lord is that he basically, after the Quartos mine on um, on um, what is it called? Baldem Bald Baldemic Demnic Baldemic or Demnic. Um, after that Quartos mine um, falls apart or is corrupted by explosion, um, his his master is severely injured, and in that effect, he basically breaks his neck and he become he takes his place so the rule of two two and i'm not going to reveal too much in this novel or in my review it is a great book to read so he picks up palpatine or he finds palpatine at the age 17 they um through politics darth plagueis was basically a powerful ceo and um of a mun corporation and so his um so his dealings with um, different nobles from different planets and stuff has led him to um, Palpatine. And he was, he took him under his toolage. He was amazed by his strength in the force. And Palpatine's dad and family did not like his relationship with Darth or Higo Damask, which is basically his commoner name, I guess you can say, not his Sith name. And, um, and so out of rage, Palpatine kills his family and takes the acceptance of being Plagueis' apprentice. And um, Plagueis basically wanted immortality. So he wanted to learn how to use the midichlorians to manipulate the force to not only create an army, but also find out how to find immortality. And that leads all the way to Anakin Skywalker, where he um, where he dis he finds out that Anna Anakin Skywalker was a um, virgin birth in the Force. And I do have a clip you guys can listen to this in this video, if, um, so that will you know cover what he feels. So we're not going to get too much into that. So basically, because it's the rule of two. Palpatine uses Plagueis to help him gain political status. So that was part of um, Palpatine's um, brilliance and getting control of the galaxy and getting control of um, and creating the empire. And in the end, um, he does become the emperor. And we do know that he kills Darth Plagueis, but I'm not gonna reveal too much into that. Be I want you to read the book because it's a very interesting um, storyline to read all the way up to how he um, disposes of his master and takes that role and then starts manipulating everyone, disguises himself in the force and eventually manipulates Anakin Skywalker and we know what happens with that. So I highly recommend this book um, to read. 
it is um, very, very interesting. And yes, this is also um, the book where Darth Plagueis finds Maul as well. And, and that's a bit of interesting. If you know the history with the Clone Wars and this, this book, this was this book was help retconning what Filoni did in the Clone Wars with Maul's original um, um, species or heritage or whatever you want to call him, where he comes from. So that's very interesting. Cross referencing there again, it's a very great prequel or lead up into the Phantom Menace. So please enjoy the clips that I provided and pick up the book read it's very interesting also too the audible is unabridged so that means it's a full version of the book on audible and it's a great listen however i don't like the um the narrator they have had better narrators but it's still really a great read so you guys have a great day and may the force be with you Palpatine had contacted him to recount a conversation he had had with Dooku. The fact that Qui-Gon Jinn had identified Maul as a Sith was to be expected. But Dooku's news about a human boy at the center of a virgins of the Force had come as a shock. More, Qui-Gon saw the boy as the Jedi's prophesied chosen one. He had to see this Anakin Skywalker for himself, had to sense him for himself. He had to know if the Force had struck back again, nine years earlier, by conceiving a human being to restore balance to the galaxy. Plagueis came to a halt 